This is Cycle 3, Week 15. We are going to be talking about Georgia O'Keeffe this morning. Um, we have some quotes from her in the script, and we have some information about her that you can read to your class um, about who she was and kind of what she did. We have, again in here, um, some examples of some of her artwork. This one might seem familiar to you. You might have seen them oops, this way. Maybe you've seen them in... Um, dentist's office or doctor's offices have a lot of these pictures in it um, but that picture of a close-up flower um, is going to be an example of how we are going to be mimicking her she was very well known for making be big beautiful flowers kind of like flying off the page um, they were so big and so she loved looking at the intricacies of a flower and so if you want it you could bring in flowers um, for the class so they could see, or you could have some pictures of flowers if you wanted as examples, if you wanted to bring in, um, so they can kind of see what does um, a flower look like on the inside? How can we, um, how can we draw that better if you want? Um, we are going to be um, mimicking her in making a big flower this morning. So we're gonna be making something that looks a little like this. Um, and so you can see it's a big flower. It goes off the page, the petals, you kind of have to imagine this must have been a very large flower in order for um, the petals to already be cut off. So that's a little bit sneak peek of what we're going to be doing. You're going to want to make sure you have your paint brushes, your paint, um, you'll want your paint palettes that you have, those little um, white ones um, for your class, cups for water, um, glue, markers, tissue paper. So we have some tacky glue, we've got some tissue paper, optional at the end. So we are going to be making a flower. So the bigger kids might just want a free hand doing a big circle in the middle. Um, or some people are very exact. They like to have something. You're welcome to just bring something from home um, to put around it and just kind of trace. If people are exact and like it to be a perfect circle. It's a good way to make a nice big circle for the center of our flower. You then are going to make a bunch of different petals coming all around it. So it can be helpful to maybe make little lines kind of coming from each spot. Doesn't have to be an exact number. Um, just to kind of help guide you with the petals. And so once you've done that with the kids, you will be making the petals. So remember, we're wanting the petals to go off the page. So you can imagine that you are going all the way through, but make sure to say with the kids, not to keep pushing their pencil down. Unless if you have tablecloth, I guess you could have them do that. That might be easier, especially with the little kids. But you want to go and kind of like you're going the whole way down and then you can kind of come back around like you're making a huge petal. And so um, you can then make these big, huge flowers. Just like if you're making big huge flower and then on the other side you then can make more petals okay so that's kind of your making of the petals if you want you could have kids instead of using a pencil just using a crayon right away um, and then that way whatever mistakes they made it's just it's okay we just move on or you can opt to do the pencil first and then the the different color of uh, pastel or crayon you can use pastels or crayons it's nice to use something like a pastel or a crayon because you will see the um, the vividness of the outside of the petal by doing it that way especially since we're using tempura paint so it doesn't matter the color they can kind of have fun with whatever color they want. So there's that. Then you will get the paint out. So you will have the paint and you'll get to paint what you want. You can allow the kids a little bit of freedom if you want for painting. Um, I just recommend that you have them paint opposites of color for the outside or the inside. So if you're going to do blue, for the outside, don't pick a blue color for your petal. So you can see I picked more of like a purple-ish blue for the outside, so then I did more of a pink for the petal. So you can do that as you color. 
um, and kind of have fun with it. You have bigger kids, it can be fun to kind of mix a little bit of white in to try to add a little bit more texture um, and look a little different with the petal. I know it's hard, especially with bigger kids, we're using tempura paint, not acrylic. You can't get real detailed, but they can still kind of have fun with it of picking a different color. If they pick more of a shade, if you pick white or if you pick black, make sure to have those um, whites and blacks with you um, that week. So that way you can kind of make it a little bit different so you can kind of see um, the flower. And then with the inside, um, we kind of try to stick with like a yellowish hue if you want. Um, or something different from what's been inside. And then I just took my brush and did little strokes of a little bit of blue there for that. And so for putting that in your picture, um, you can do as an optional kind of fun act activity at the end. You Now this might just take up the whole time and you might opt not to do this, but if you wanted, you can. Um, we have a bunch of little squares of tissue paper and then you have tacky glue in your bin. Um, you can just put a little bit of tacky glue all around your outside rim and then you can take, you can do different colors or you can try to pick the same color. You kind of take these into little spots and you just glue them down. So it can be something that can be a little more time consuming um, if you did it all the way around on the outside or you can do it more along the inside. So that way then your class kind of has that details of the inside, maybe the pollen of the flower um, is kind of popping out at you. So that's an option if you want for um, an extra time activity. It doesn't all need to be the same color. We only have so many colors, so it's fine for kids just kind of have fun with it. So enjoy.